a man Bill Rogers never met, Tom Nichols. Good evening, Clint. Huh? Is yeah, this great? That's great, Dad. Thanks for all the calls. You've done so much for my career. <laughs> It's gone right in the toilet since the last time I saw you. <laughs> Would you mind standing up for a second, Clint? It means a lot to the people. All right, just lift your arms. Okay, you're clean. Sit. <laughs> but every lady in the room wanted to grab you like that for fun. <laughs> nice to see you, Kyle. I remember you in Yugoslavia. Hello, Mother. How are you? You're gonna come into a lot of money someday. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great, Clint. I can't believe it. All the calls. You've been so great to me, Clint. You've done everything for my career. Since Kelly's Heroes, I haven't worked. <laughs> you've been marvelous. I know you're busy in Carmel saying to everybody you're a mayor and so forth. If you're a mayor, a mayor I'm a Mau Mau fighter pilot. I'll tell you that. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's great. And Josh, uh, this is great. <laughs> you get on top of a farm roof and go, ah, 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 ah. And Michelle Lee's here. She wants her name mentioned, so we just thought we'd throw that in. <laughs> but I must say, though, we spent a lot of years in Yugoslavia. It seemed like years. It was six months, Clint. You and I, we've been great friends. And with Carol O'Connor, Tully Savalas, who was in heat 24 hours a day, he was chasing rabbits, dogs, <laughs> monkeys. <laughs> but I must say, <laughs> Cesar Romero's here. You were so great in the 40s. But I'll tell you this. There's Charles Bronson sitting up there. Get up and shoot somebody. Anyway, I'll tell you this. <laughs> this is your lovely daughter. Your luck, she'll marry a busboy and live in Anaheim. <laughs> you know, we had so many good times in Yugoslavia. I must say, the mother... Uh, what is your first name, mother? Ruth. Hi, Ruth. You're a charming lady. How long have you been... Anyway, uh... I'm kidding, Ruth. Do you hit the booze a little bit? Uh... Anyway, uh... <laughs> and you tell Clint it's for the heart? But I must say, though... Jonathan Winters is sitting there going, I remember those days. <laughs> I'll tell you this, though. Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet are sitting over there. They, they never met you, but they can't believe they got a table. <laughs> and Buddy Rogers, one of the great band leaders in 1912. They all very, very, very close to you, Clint. These people all love you. And I'm a friend. The hair's going. In a year, you'll have to wear one of those funny little jobs in the front. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Start laughing, Ma. You're going back in the home now. I'm not going to say it again. The old lady's sitting here like she belongs here, for crying. <laughs> and there's Fred McMurray. <laughs> Fred's enjoying the evening because there's no charge. But I must say, uh... Uh, you... <laughs> nah, there, and his lovely wife, June Haver, who was in a movie in 1907. <laughs> but June, you're very, very lovely. And put Fred in a home. He should be in a home. He really is. But, Fred, you look great. You feel good? Smart as a whip. Anyway, uh, give him a couple of question and answer periods. He just rattles them right off. But, Clint, it's so good to see you, really. I, I mean that. We haven't seen each other. Thanks for all, as again I say, from my heart, you've been, you've been a good friend to me. We've, we've known each other how long now? Uh, Thanks, Clint. Anyway, uh, Clint's one of the fast talkers of all time. It, I spent a lot of years with you in Yugoslavia, and as I say, it was years, but it was months. But the nicest thing in the world was your lovely daughter and your son and your lovely mother sits here tonight. I must say, we had great times together. Because when I was up against it, when I first came there with my darling little girl, Mindy, my daughter, who was your lovely lady, was not around then, but Kyle was, and you scared her on Halloween, Kyle. Anyway, but he did, and he ran up and went, boo, and my daughter never forgot it and said, Dad, get friendly with Clint, they're rich. <laughs> but I must say, I must say, God has blessed you with great success, and you deserve it. Because you're the kind of guy that always said to me, hey, Don, a pickup truck and a dog is my life. And I believed you, and that's how I wound up with you in Yugoslavia. <laughs> a pickup truck and a dog. So God bless you, and thanks for having me here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sammy Davis, Jr.